Hello everybody and welcome to episode 76 of Shattered Earth. The last time you guys fought a big ass sea dragon and won and collected its shit. And also rescued Lemmy's mom from, uh, from the past where she was flung after an accident. So, in the end of it, uh, you guys went back to Eternity's Isle, collected the people you needed to collect, um, talked to Razius and exchanged a bunch of your uh, a bunch of your loot for other cool loot, and then uh, Razius uh, returned you back to the uh, the correct time, the time from whence you came. Uh, what are the uh, beautiful things about doing that, though, is that he can move the island wherever he wants. So he essentially uh, moves the island uh, close enough to your destination that you can get there uh, by the end of the day. <laughs> you don't have to spend another month of travel flying over the uh, the open sea. There, there was so much loot, I'm not even going to list it. I'm going to you can scroll back up through the general chat and see what was posted. <laughs> if you didn't put it on your character sheet, that's your loss. <clears throat> that's what recaps are for. So. Me, me, G, I mean, like, what did he give us in the exchange? I don't think that was entirely covered. I, yes, it was. I'm it was looking covered. In the general, <laughs> I'm looking in the general chat. What we gave the Kowaddle stuff and got back is not written down there. It's covered in the recap. And you were there for most of it. There were a lot of things that were exchanged. So yeah, I know. I I think out of the Kowaddle stuff, the only thing uh, the only things that were kept were kept by David because he's the only one who can use them. There was a staff, and David, what else did you keep? The shield. Okay, so he kept the staff and shield, and we just turned in like the headdress, the cloak. The armor, the bow, the sword, and the whip, I think. I think that's it. Yeah, those and... were all exchanged for different things. Yep. Yep. I know for the I know for the whip I got the iron bands of Bellaro. I traded I think the bow to get a two bird sling. And I think the I think the the one cloak and the headdress were traded for uh, Cape of the Mountebank. So, yeah, and uh, yeah, the the headdress that was that makes you say S that was was traded in on that too. And um, <laughs> and I traded something for the gloves of thievery. I think it was that big honking sword nobody wanted. Probably. So there was also the, uh, the frost brand. I think was traded for flame tone. Nope. And I, think, I, that. I think I think David held on to it as is, and, then and the, the plus three, uh, the plus three uh, crossbow, heavy crossbow, is still around because yeah, it's there's not really an equivalent for... exchange for it. We had a discussion about this off yeah. off camera, but yeah, there's like, the power whatever. level of a plus three weapon compared to other very rare items is very yeah. low. So there's not really an equivalent exchange we could do there. Yep. Yep. So that's yeah. I'm just gonna. I'm just I'm just gonna let Valerian have it because it's ostensibly you know one of the most powerful weapons and you know he's the one who you know <laughs> Valerian your your hand is the one that that fixed the anomaly you know you, you literally took out Tsutsu slightly before he was gonna take us all out so crossbow unless anybody else really wants it it's yours to do with you what you want. I did also trade something for this weird staff. Uh, I don't oh, have God, any use for it. Yeah, uh, <laughs> traded Fuck. some. I for, I forget what it was. <laughs> there was a staff of of, of writhing darkness. Staff of writhing I would, darkness. I would I would much rather have something else, but it's what we traded. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got a staff I don't want to sleep near. Uh, does anybody <laughs> else want? Does anybody else want this? Chance, would you like it? It seems really good at uh, grabbing things and potentially imprisoning them. That's that's something you like, right? Chance? <laughs> oh no? God. Not not into that. Okay. 
Uh, let me see. Oh, already then? I, I mean, uh, I mean, what, what does it do? Like, uh, it's got stuff in it. It's very tentacly. Yeah. Like... It's, okay. So, <laughs> it's it's a staff where there are inky black tentacles that wrap around the the body of it. <clears throat> it has a it's a plus one uh, quarter staff with eight charges, and you can, you can expend the charges from it to cast either Arms of Hadar, Hunger of Hadar, or Evard's Black Tentacles from it. So, all the all the tentacle spells, basically. Yep. Uh, but it's an it's an attunement item. I got no use for it, so anybody wants it, please have at it. I don't particularly want it in my inventory, thanks. Anybody. <laughs> <laughs> also, oh, I'm also turning to David. This Cape of the Mountebank thing, it's cool, but I don't know. It seems like the kind of thing that would come in handy for you if we ever encounter a situation where there's a bunch of tiles that you really would like to like not step on. So that that might be a good handy thing You're for like you to have. So, yeah, if you want it, it just it, it gives you essentially a, a free dimension door every long rest. And I know Chance already does dimension door a bunch anyway, so this gives you at least, you know... A potential way to circumvent uh, very dangerous obstacles that try to, you know, soak you in acid and fun stuff like that. So, so please, <laughs> be my guest, take the cape, add it to your inventory, I, I definitely have no use for it, and if anybody, and I mean anybody, wants this interesting staff, they may take it off my hands just at any point. It's, it's fine. I just want to appreciate the fact that it has eight charges. I just want to throw that out there. <laughs> yeah, eight charges, eight legs. Yeah. Oh, so clever. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Eight charges, like, like, like how, a, like an octopus. <laughs> and 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 how H is the eighth letter of the alphabet. Nice. I'm Very gonna, nice. I'm gonna pretend that I thought about that when I wrote it. Uh huh. <laughs> that is. Pretend that I'm smart. Something, than I am. something very, very <laughs> special. So, yes, it's it's oct it's octastic. <laughs> so, anyway, um, I'm just over here thinking of the fact that uh, shit, let's try. Damn, I was talking about people's train of thought. And we're gone. The tentacles stole your train of thought. <laughs> right, right, right. Thank derailed you. by you, you, No, no, no. Thank you. You got me back on track. I just like. We we have we just have discount Mirax staff. Oh, kind of, I guess. Yeah. But it, it's from Wish. It's pretty strong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a decent it's, staff. It's, it's got it's got stuff in it. Yeah, it's a staff that could potentially arm wrestle you. Black tentacles so, is a good spell. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, it's it's mm. it's neat. It's just uh. Yeah, I got other I got other stuff that I'd rather use than that. So anybody wants to have at it. Um, also, uh, a lot of the stuff that I found that was like non-magical, I'd be more than happy to just, you know, give to anybody who thinks it's of significance. Uh, I would you know, like I guess some, I, some of the stuff yeah, for the historical value. Yeah, I'd probably uh, chance if you have any interest in like these art art pieces. There's like a few necklaces and a bracelet. All yours, buddy. Also, some weird snaky robes, like ceremonial robes. Please take them. It's just I. They're just taking up extra space and weight in my inventory, and I, I just, I, I have no need for these very significant finds, but they are all yours. And I think I also found that Electrum Scepter with gold inlay that's, like, worth a fair bit. But you know what, Chance? Here you go, man. If, if you know, you trade it in on something, or if you, you know, get money from it, great. On the other hand, you know, you kind of, you kind of used to be a noble, so it's like, it kind of feels like something you should have, you know? I mean, it's kind of a... A rulery thing, so, so there you go. So much gold trying to fix that house. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying, you know, at least at least you can have a fancy stick. So, I mean, I'll give you the other, you know, the the scary staff too if you want it. You know, just please, please take it off me, please, please, get, get please, away. please take it, please take it off me while it can still be taken off me. Thank you. <laughs> I'll take the, I'll take the staff if you really want to get rid of it. That is that is awesome. Yeah, just take that and the and the uh, and the yeah the twenty five gold 
piece value necklaces with uh, rough gems. Those are four of those, and four of the robes, and one turquoise bracelet, and yeah, the the scepter. And I don't think there was anything else you were really that keen on. I've got a few other things that I will just, unless anybody else is really attached to them, I've got a, let's see, a, a couple of scimitars, a stone sickle from like the, I guess that harvest room thing from the from the temple. I'll just straight up give Razius those because they're, you know, there's something that doesn't belong in this time and I have no use putting them around, so I just young kids as a souvenir because they're cool. <laughs> and also, I would, I, at this point, I would definitely turn to Valerian and say, while I was in the temple, I was in what I'm pretty sure was some kind of embalming room. They, there was something going on with a sub-priestess or priestess or something embalming a dead yon tea with some kind of well here and i hold out two vials of reddish pink mixture and i say i have no idea what these do if they're helpful if they're harmful but they are definitely for lack of a better word death adjacent so if you if you would find them to be of any value or maybe some kind of uh you know offering to the one that you serve um you know here you go i'm I'm pretty sure whatever it is, they probably don't make it anymore, or it's real hard to find, so... I'm, I'm sorry, what do you mean by serve? Um, alright. I I assume that you are a, a cleric in service of a... Perhaps I've misunderstood, but, uh, you know, you are in... Alright, in connection with. Alright, I, I will say the one with whom you are on cordial terms, would that be a, a, fair, a fair statement? <laughs> Uh, no. I don't oh. serve any deity. Oh. How do you have I, how do you have holy magic? Those kind of need that I, that. I just assumed since you generally had magic was sort of a I believe my uh, conviction and my belief is what gives me the power. Oh, well. Even so, this you know, it seems like your power tends a certain way, and this seems in line with that, so if you would like some reddish pink mystery substance, it's all yours. I just know it was. Are we in front of the Sphinx still? You you're on the island still. You haven't left. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you if you want it, great. Um, I could. I, I wish you could you could have shown that to the Sphinx. Maybe he would have you know see uh, told us what it was. You have identify. One of you has identify, right? Yeah, I can just ritual. I can ritual cast it and just see what it is. I guess. Sure. I don't mind okay. taking the. I don't mind taking the time to do that if it's, if it's something magical. Great. I just figured it was some kind of weird. I don't know preservative chemical. But yeah, I'll be more than happy to cast identify on the on, on the vials and see, what, what their contents might be. I don't. Sure. I'm guessing probably some kind of poison or dangerous substance, they are two, given where we found it. They are two potions of poison. Yep, that does not surprise at all. So, <laughs> okay, I'll mark them as that. Um, I don't know if I'll have any use for them, but sure. <laughs> uh, you never know. So, what is even right. what is even the point of a potion of poison? Like, what what use do you have? Can you actually use that for? Trick adventures. For be a it? dick. I mean, if you yeah. knock someone out, you can just poison them and kill them, I guess. Under the guise of yeah. trying to heal them. <laughs> I don't know. It's, 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 there's reasons yeah, there's, for it. There's, there's stuff. I mean, it's it's a bottle full of a bottle full of death, potentially. So, uh, okay. I will just yeah get those out of the... This isn't like earlier editions where undead can heal for poison. Yeah. Uh, don't... Don't think this is kind of a revive kill zombie sort of sort of situation. No. <laughs> uh, all right, potion of poison. All right, they're there. All right, cool. I now have a thing that it is. So. All right, thanks. I yeah, I know what things are now. So. All right. Cool. All right, I think that's I think that's everything. And chance, if you want to add the art pieces, the robes, and the bracelet to your, and your inventory. 
you know, do what you will with them from there. And, uh, yeah, I'm assuming that Valerian's got the badass crossbow in his inventory for whatever purpose he has in mind for it, so. Uh, uh, do you want me to itemize the whole thing, VG, or could I just mark it down as <laughs> you want to sort of artifacts? Um... And wait, what did you wait? What is this? <laughs> Hold on. I oh, he's just, he's just, just he's just taking some of the cool junk that I found in the temple. Like the there were the four necklaces with rough hewn gems, uh, one turquoise bracelet, and four sets of Yonti ceremonial snake pattern robes. Oh. That was all that. Oh, I, and the and the Electrum scepter that that was the thing that made the mage hand fish, fished out of the water for me, and that's actually worth a fair bit. So. Well, if he a, wants yeah, that, there's a number know. of those. Well, all of those are worth different things, and they weigh different things. So yes, you need to do separate. Yeah, entries. yeah. So, so go for all. All that is is chances to do with for whatever historical value or profit he sees fit, or just to have and be like, this is shiny and cool. So. Are the robes. Hey, I think the robes are searchable in the compendium. You can look up yeah. what those do. The turquoise bracelet, I, the... Uh, yeah, I the think they're stone, all just... All of that is... Yeah, all that's the thing. The Electrum thing has a gold cost. So you could keep it or sell it, doesn't matter. <clears throat> the uh, and, yeah, the turquoise bracelet and, is, a, is a, a Yanti artifact from long ago. Um, in and of itself, it's not really worth much, but historical value, if you were to... Uh, like, in terms of your background specifically, there's ways to upgrade your background, and one of those things is um, searching for and putting on display or uh, keeping um, ancient artifacts of different kinds, different cultures, different places. So, having Next. having those things um, having those things on you is not enough, but if you were to I don't know, hey, like, display them on the ship that you have or whatever. What were the, what were the items? In... Whatever whatever Lemmy has in his inventory that he gave you. I don't remember what, exactly what they yeah. are, but there's, there's For... a number of them. There, there are, yeah. There's a bunch of stuff with gold costs in here. Like mm -hmm. up in the very first thing where it says full set of quadrant heroes armored weapons, 2300 platinum, blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah. All of that, like fine leather armor trimmed with squirrel fur, mm -hmm. lacquer wooden plate, all the art objects and expensive shit on the mid medium, uh, the middle paragraph there that's all like ancient ancient world stuff which yeah. you now have in almost perfect condition <laughs> yes like the of the lake. like like new yay yeah you'll have to you'll have to presto some of the the mold and uh and algae off of it and dry it but off but easy enough yeah magic can do that for you it's not a big deal but what are the paintings of the Oh, they are. Oh, they are pieces of. If you don't let me ask. It says. It says on there. Uh, there's a oh, paint, the, the painting of a paladin in hell in an ivory frame set with aquamarine and peridot. That was the only. Like that a, was the only like painting. Like a anti paladin or like no, an like, actual paladin paladin. Like a like, like, a, a, whole, like, like a doom guy. Yeah, like doom guy. It's it's basically it's basically doom guy. Uh, it's like one one singular paladin against all the armies of hell. <laughs> it's like the the idea of the painting. Um. Mess with the wrong bunny. There's a platinum pendant. There's the electrum chalice, and there's an electrum scepter, and there's a, a lacquered wooden plate engraved with elven elven script. So, there's that. Fancy platinum pendant. Very nice. Or a calcum scroll work. I hope I'm saying that right. Yeah. You know. Right. Or a calcum is. Uh... It's, it's like old, like ancient trying, world, old world bronze or something like that. Here's what I'm going to do to the, for the sake of expediency, because I really don't feel like typing all that onto a roll 20 sheet. Sheets are uh, not exactly convenient. Mm. You know what I might be able to do? One note doesn't like to do things correctly sometimes mm. for me, but if I fuck with it. I might be able to just make it all into text form. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, may I mark it that way? Uh, uh, 
Ist da unten. You wanna have my, guess how much gold I spent on that fucking house? Uh, fifty, fifty thousand and one. Thirty-five grand. I no, I I spent a total of fifteen hundred because that's how, well fifteen thousand. That's how much VG told me I needed to. I would need to actually fix the house. I spent ten thousand. I was two thirds of the way done before someone ripped it from me. Yes, I'm still mad. <laughs> well, you wanted to play a different character for a while. Does that work? Yes, it does. Okay, there you go. There's the text to copy paste. It's just any constellation, sir. You're not bound by our contract anymore. <laughs> oh, God. He's haunting us oh. even now. Oh my god! I, I, never, I never died. <laughs> I'm I, still I, around. I promise. You never die, but I can correct that. <laughs> Valerian can correct that. Okay. Valerian, any, please anyway, correct that. <laughs> there's a. <laughs> anyway, there's there's the text. You can copy paste it, whatever you want. Um, the. Uh, Long and short of it is, you guys arrive in Angel Bay, not like mm -hmm. the next day. The island, the island would appear like a day's journey away, <clears throat> slightly below cloud level, so as to hide its existence. Um, Conlia can sail the uh, the nameless out of the island, uh, <laughs> out of the island and away, and off to Angel Bay uh, on the next day. I didn't mean for that to rhyme, but I did. So, uh, upon your docking in Angel Bay, you have a number of options open to you, and you have a heading as to where to go next. You finally get to do the main quest. <laughs> <laughs> After all Yay! This um... So what do you want to do? I'll... Um, ship. I guess I'd... Uh, let's see. <laughs> Anyone else have any other ideas at the moment? Or is it just shit? Repeat the, repeat the question. Uh, what are you doing in Angel Bay? Yeah, um... I thought we were gonna go see a man about a ship. Yeah. There you are. Oh, it's that's honestly, a good point. It's honestly been so long, I have genuinely forgot. Oh, that's right. We were getting someone to build a ship out here, weren't we? Mm -hmm. I forget how long ago that was, though, so... Uh... I don't know if... Well... I don't, I don't know if it's ready yet. So here's the thing. Uh, it would have been ready... But Rousey's dropped you off 30 days early. So uh, <laughs> you got about a month before the ship is done. Um, hmm. uh, just just in your in your heads. You don't need to go to the guy to to, uh, <laughs> to know that. Uh, Rousey's like, here, I did you a favor. And your guy's like, great. Fuck, we got to walk across the desert for 30 days. <laughs> um, so there's that. Um, you also have... Uh, I mean, you you have your mom, by the way, here with you. Yeah. Um, and uh, kind of hearing of like, she, she, I'm assuming like during the next like 24 hours, you guys catch up a decent amount. <laughs> Maybe not everything. Uh, there's a lot yeah. to take in. Um, yeah. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> but uh, when you mention that you you purchased a ship, um, she seems surprised. Like she knows how expensive that is. Um, and she, she offers, um, well, if your ship isn't going to be done and you guys need to go do important things, then I can always bring it to you after you're done with it. Okay. I am um, a captain after all. I know how to fly the damn thing. Or at least I think I do. Never piloted a damselfly before, but first time for everything, I suppose. 
Yeah, I hear they're I hear they're light, fast, and pretty mean. Uh, we should have enough people to make it work. That is, yeah, it uh, doesn't. If if they're willing to keep me on as captain. Yeah, and that's I guess that's something I might need to discuss with the with the rest of the group. Are you all Are you all okay with uh, Captain Spinney here being the being the captain of the of the boat once it's all ready and good to go? Or I mean, don't get me wrong; it's your mm -hmm. ship. You can you can captain. Yeah. I'm just saying, I I was a captain. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> until a couple of days ago. Well, y yeah, well, a year ago. Yeah, it's I don't know. it's it's hard to say. It's yeah, times uh, a year ago, a thousand years, kind of makes my head spin just thinking about it. Um, Stuff got weird, but in any yep. case, I know how to pilot a ship, and. If you want to keep me on, I need something to do. I don't have a I don't have my boat anymore. Badger's yeah. sunk to the bottom yeah, of that gigantic lake that we landed in. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, actually that was uh that was I, I think that was what they used to call the sea, but yeah, it was uh salty. But uh yeah that's yeah, I thought I thought that was weird. I didn't That's... really. I was like, who, who put this saltwater lake here? Yeah, that's just. I guess that's how the world was long ago. So, but strange, strange times, strange place. Odd to look down and see all that water instead of the core where it should be. But uh, that's. It's the odd odd times of the past. Um, well, one other, I guess one other thing, um, I'd just like to maybe give you time to to think about just while we're while we're out doing what we're doing, is if you're sure you still want to be a captain, I I do understand that the sky's in both our veins a fair bit, but I also know that they're are other you know other other things that that call to us as well i know the uh the earth you know has kind of a special bond with me and uh i know that uh you know taking taking risks especially in games of uh games of chance and skill is something that's I know you turned your back on that in order to be captain. If you feel like this is a a time when you might want to to do that, I understand. The skies have risks all their own, and you can ask anybody in the party here, at least as we've experienced it just in the last few weeks, counting the Badger, we've seen three ships meet their end. Kiddo, that's something as, to it's something, as much to, as something I, to weigh against. As as much as I get what you're trying to say, yeah. sc the sky's my home. It always has been. I mean, you know, even before, even yeah. before you, it was always my home. Yeah, I it, get it gave me so much freedom. I felt like I could take on the world while I was up there and I wouldn't give that up. I don't think I could. Alright then. I'll I'll figure it out, but you know, I'm, no. I'm available if you need me. I'm here for you if you need me. You and me, against the world like we always have been. Yeah. Against the world. Okay, well, I think I'd probably start just to take care of some time. I'd probably consider looking around town for for jobs. If I remember right, isn't there some kind of adventurer's guild of Aravall? I seem to remember doing something involving that a long time ago. Mm -hmm. um, if they've got a branch in Angel Bay, great. They certainly do. Um, yeah, I'd probably... Probably one be the, interested one, in one of the larger branches, actually. 
Angel. Yeah, I'd be interested in doing some work for them. I don't. I think I've still got a beginner's one. I was trying to get a an intermediate, but it just didn't really go my way the few times I tried it. Uh, let's see. There it is. Yeah, it looks like I've got six low rank jobs completed. And... Hmm. Yeah, at novice rank. So, I don't remember how many I have to how many I have to complete to get to the to the next rank. But if there's time for me to do a job or two while we're waiting for the ship to get ready, I guess I might as well give it a shot. Depends Anybody on if else? You're stay in Angel Bay for thirty days, or if you're going to move on. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, actually, I'd probably I'd probably nod over to Chance and be like, out of everyone here, I mean, is there someone with more experience? Trekking around Arival than yourself. Uh, other than the other guild people. This, uh, this is a perception on investigation. Not unfortunate. Yeah. Well, then I'm gonna fail this one. Yeah. Um. You're not sure if it's where you're looking or if. Perhaps uh, the the word hasn't made its way over to Angel Bay. I'm gonna I'm gonna continue to rhyme with this place the entire session, uh, accidentally. So, uh, but you do not see any wanted posters where you are. A couple places we need to go. Oh my God, we can walk around. The second you take off your hood, it's fucking eight. Exclamation points pop up over NPCs' heads. Yeah, but the second they go for it, they're just gonna get. I'm just gonna just say, ah, uh, yes. Flame strike. Took me a second to my spell. <laughs> Burn Angel Bay to the ground in response. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, you don't see any. You don't see your face on any posters. Let's put it that way. There is the adventuring guild here in Arval. There's also uh, there's also a tavern. Yep. There is a yeah. There's a tavern. There is a what the fuck is that? Oh, uh, blacksmith. We've got enchanters. We got an enchantress here. Which you've talked to before. There's the dockyards. There's a general goods store. There are apothecaries, potion makers, that kind of thing. Uh, okay. And then there's a church. There's a, there's a decent sized church also. Hmm. So, up to you guys. Well, if there is now, if there is, if there is an enchanter, or I'm not sure who would who would want to go to, but I do have these gigantic sea serpent scales taking up space in my bag, uh, bag of holding. I guess I could see if there's somebody who could make them into a a suit of armor. It'd be. Something pretty special, so I imagine it would cost. But I've got a fair amount on me, so maybe somebody would be able to do that. I, it seems like more of an enchanter thing than a standard smithy job, just because it's it's basically animal parts. So yeah, I don't know who would be the yeah. I guess I guess I'd probably just go to try to go to an enchanter and see if there's someone there who's capable of, of turning those raw materials into a, a I guess a suit of a serpent serpent scale armor so sure so you'd need to talk to two people uh, okay well actually let's see maybe just the blacksmith the scales if we're assuming the scales are magical in nature um so the uh, did... probably just the blacksmith um the okay. blacksmithy is called the Hearty Targe. Hmm. 
Okay, well, in that case, I would, I would probably, I'd probably go to the Hardy Targe, but one thing I would, one thing I probably would do before I went in, just because it's a thing I could do, and it might not be, it might not be a bad idea, is I'm going to, I'm going to attempt to cast uh, a spell on myself before I, you know, round the corner and go into the place, uh, borrowed knowledge, just to give myself uh, persuasion proficiency for one hour, so... Nice. Just seems like if I'm if I'm going to be trying to make any kind of a deal or not get completely fleeced, that'd be a good thing to have. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to cast that, and yep, just give yeah, I'll just add the uh, persuasion proficiency there, and yep, and then I will go into the shop and so you're doing that. The other, does anyone else? Have, does so. anyone else have anything else they want to do? Just so I can get an order of operations here. Do you want to go to the Adventurers Guild? Do you want to go uh, check out the General Guild? Do you want to go to them, them, them? Or is everyone trekking along with Lemmy? Yes, I'm, I'm going along with Lemmy because uh, I'm on autopilot because you know no computer. Sure. It makes your job easier. What about Chance? Chance fucking around, or is he going with Lemmy as well? Where are we going? To the blacksmith to get serpent scale armor made. Uh, you said there was an enchanter, or like a magic shop? Yeah, the enchantress is right next to the the blacksmith because they're husband and wife. Which I believe I told you last time. Yes. Several months ago. Yes, many times. <laughs> Uh, but I'm just giving you a reminder. Yeah, so the, the, the Hardy Targe and the Sage's Mirror are two two separate shops that are conjoined. Um, the husband runs the blacksmithy and the wife runs the Enchanter's Emporium. I'll go to the uh, Enchanter shop. I guess I'll just tag off until we get to places, I guess. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we'll do, we'll do Lemmy first. Um, okay. You walk in, and the 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 building itself is uh, it's built for taller people, <laughs> um, but uh, uh, with accommodations for uh, Mister Underfoot, as he's called, uh, because he is uh, hmm. the the pair of them they're a halfling couple. So um, you can hear uh, when you when you enter the store, you can hear uh, hammer going in the back. Um, you can see immediately as you enter. Um, there are uh, racks and racks of weapons and armor here, <laughs> like weapons, armor, shields, uh, and any any kind of that kind of thing you can think of is uh, being made here. Um, uh, this place is frequented by the Adventurers Guild for people who need their their gear fixed or replaced. Uh, so he has a lot of um, different kinds of weapons and armor in stock. Okay. All right. Well, I would probably uh, go up, go up to him, and uh, you know, if you know, just kind of get his attention, make sure I'm not distracting him while he's doing anything particularly dangerous, and just you know, sure. Say, you see well, him, good sir. See him grabbing a, a, a essentially he was he's hammering a, a blade on a, a smallish anvil. And he, he looks up uh, at you and says, All right, just a moment. Hold on one second. And he <laughs> takes the, the uh, blade and he, like, hefts it up. It's kind of big for him. Sticks it into mm. uh, the fire to uh, reheat and uh, comes up to the counter. All right, you welcome. What can I do for you? First off, I'd like to say, sir, it's uh, good to... It's good to finally walk into a store that uh, accommodates us normal-sized folk instead of those uh, tall ones, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> and uh, secondly, well, I've happened across something a little bit unusual, and was wondering if you might be able to possibly make a suit of armor out of it. And I kind of haul out one of the one of the scales out of the bag and show it to him and say, "There's a." 
I think there's a total of 25 of these, which should be probably enough to make something out of. Oh, yeah, he, he holds he, it up. It's, 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 like I said before, it's the size of a dinner plate, so he's holding it up in front of him. Mm-hmm. And he's just staring at it like, whoa. Where in the, what in the hell did you get these? That's some quality uh, scales. The likes of which I've yeah. never seen before. You and you and me either, but I happened into a few of them, and if if it's within your if it's within your expertise to uh, craft a, a suit of armor for me out of them, I'd surely appreciate it. And uh, if there's any any way I could even throw in a bit extra for a rush job, you know, faster would probably be better. He's he kind of like weighs it in his hands. It's surprisingly light. Not too hefty. I'll have to have my wife take a look at this. Not sure where this thing came from, but uh, if it's any if it's any kind of magical in any way, then she can perhaps make something work out of it. Let's take a look. See, uh, what fucking server skills uncommon? That's ridiculous. It's like probably low end of rare. <laughs> Um, let's let's do this. Uh, I don't know what I can do with this, so why don't I? You said you wanted a suit of armor. Mm-hmm. Why don't I just make that, and uh, I'll have you come back when it's done, and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, see how much it costs then. Oh. It's gonna have to be a floating price Sorry, point because I... I have no idea what the fuck this is. Okay, um, I guess just, um, uh, sorry, I, I, I miss what, I miss what you were saying there, sorry, I was a bit distracted by a few things in there, but you said just kind of, just the, just whatever the, whatever your costs are to make it, for me to cover those plus a bit? Aye, you're paying for my time, if you want to pay for a rush job, I can certainly make this a priority, but, okay. uh, I have no idea how much this is going to cost me, so... You're gonna have to just take it as it comes. Okay. Fair enough. Right. Come on, follow me. And he uh, he hands you back the scale and you, to put in your bag, and he uh, kind of hops down off of the um, the little ladder he was on, and begins to walk uh, over next door to his his wife's uh, emporium. Um, while this conversation is going on, uh, Chance, you enter the emporium. Uh, while Levy's doing his discussion. Uh, okay. Is there anything in particular you want to do? Do you want to talk to her at all, or do you just want to browse? I'll browse first. What was it? Or something? Uh, Browse first. Oh, browse first. Okay. Sure. Um, there are a number of things in here. Uh, let me go ahead and... Oops. Wrong thing. Let's do this. Uh, okay. I will give you a list of random stuff in there that is available. Copy and paste. What's the better version of a bag of holding? Uh, the handy haversack. Got it. Either that or a portable hole, depending on depending on what your uh, preference is. The haversack is more convenient because you need to have space for the hole to unfurl in order to get into it. Okay, so there's a plus two all-purpose tool, plus two moon sickle, uh, cloak of the manta ray for whatever reason, uh, defender great sword, which is a, a lot, <laughs> uh, mariner's armor, potion of fire breath, potions of greater healing, rod of security, sentinel shield, several different spell scrolls, uh, staff of swarming insects, vicious weapons, uh, vicious shortbow rather, and the wand of secrets. Do they have, like, 
armor and shit for use in oceans. I don't know. <laughs> there, there are water. I mean, there's water, like lakes and stuff that exist in this world. Like ninety percent. I, I imagine like ninety-eight percent of this world's population doesn't even know what an ocean is. Yeah, not an actual ocean, probably. <clears throat> what the fuck? How the fuck do they have a defender great sword? Yeah, I don't think they have that. I think they call it a defender great sword, but it's probably just like a plus two great sword. <laughs> Alright, what's a defender great sword for the record? It's a legendary weapon. Like I'm not gonna give you that. <laughs> I just randomly generate <laughs> these shops every time I I post them. Um, so the rest of that could be on there, but the the defender great sword is probably not an actual defender great sword. The guy's trying to tell a story there. <clears throat> Let's turn that into a plus two great sword just for fun. The rest of that can be fine. Spell scroll of foresight, maybe. I mean, that one. The spell scroll of foresight is like <laughs> that was probably. Uh, like found in an ancient tomb by one of the adventurers and hawked for a lot of money and she just kind of like has that behind a glass case. What does the foresight spell do? It's like a it's like a ninth level spell. It's ridiculous. Foresight is it's a minute casting time. Ninth level divination spell. <laughs> it takes a minute yeah, to cast. It lasts for eight hours. Uh, you cannot be surprised you have advantage on attack rolls, ability checks, and saving throws, and other creatures have disadvantage on attack rolls against you for the duration. Yeah, it's like the it's like you see you 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 feel just enough of the future to get a vibe from it. So it's just observation hockey, okay? Yeah, but it's a ninth level spell, so it's an expensive spell scroll. Mm. And I do have a lot of money. I like do a have lot a lot of money. Of you might be able to do that. It's also good to have for the wizard. Uh, I have to look up how much spell scrolls are worth, to be honest. Uh -huh. How much you know, legendary item price points are. Uh, mm -hmm. Item cost by five e. Legendary legendary items are one hundred and twenty five thousand. Uh, so in terms of like a scroll, you'd be looking at seventy-five grand for the foresight scroll. Oh, I definitely don't have enough of that. Yeah. Hmm. You have to go after one of the dragons probably to get that much gold. Well, Those scrolls might be worth something though. Uh, maybe the insect plague is in there. Major image is in there, and yeah. All right, once I've looked around and kind of not really knows anything I want, uh, I'll approach the counter. Sure. You walk up and there's a uh, kind of like a middle-aged halfling woman with um, half-moon spectacles on, uh, hair tied up into a bun, uh, who is uh, currently uh, kind of reading over a book uh, at the front counter. Um, nods to you politely when you walk in and start browsing, but doesn't bother you otherwise. Uh, when you walk up to the counter, she uh, she says, Hello there. What can I do to help you out? Uh, well, I don't, uh, I don't suppose you have anything more in the back, or is it just what's on display? No, just what's on display, I'm afraid. The, uh, the adventurers here like to peruse my wares, and I make a good enough living to uh, only have a few things out on the floor at a time. <laughs> Although, if you're looking to have something made, uh, perhaps my husband can help you. Uh, I'm, if you if you couldn't exactly tell, I'm not much of the uh, sword and board type. Oh, that's fine. Uh, we make staves for wizards and uh, sorcerers all the time. Rods, I can do. Depends on what you're looking for. I do take commissions from time to time, depending on the item. Uh, above game, 
how much uh, uh, how how much does a uh, <coughs> handy hammer that cost like above game? Uh, let's find out. I don't know what rarity that is. Handy hammer sack buddy is it's a rare item. So we're looking at. For, for a haversack, we're looking at probably 20, 2,500. 2,500 or 25,000? 2,500. It's a, it's a only a rare item. It's 2,500. All right, I need to, need to make certain because, like, southernisms. I need yeah. to make sure that, that like... <laughs> 2,500. 2,500. When you get up into the 20K range, that's very rare items. And above. Uh, do you know? Uh, do you know how to make a a, a haversack? I do. That's a popular request. I'll tell you the yeah. same thing I tell the other adventurers that ask for it as well. <clears throat> I charge two thousand five hundred for the pack to be made. It takes a couple of weeks to get everything done, uh, but if you'd if you take out a, uh, a, a pro bono contract for the materials, then uh, deliver them to me, then that cuts the cost down for a little bit. So, depends on how much you're willing to do, how much time you're willing to spend. Uh, well, 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 as she's talking, and uh, after she said after she said the price, and while she's talking, Chan just takes out his uh, coin purse and starts counting out platinum coins. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Um, yeah, I have uh, I've been running low on Displacer Beast skin, so I have to hire someone to go get that. So it'll take a little while to to complete. Uh, probably a couple of weeks, I had to guess. So, two no. weeks for two weeks for the materials, two weeks for the for creation. So I'd come back in a month. Is that what I'm hearing? Well, Is, do I understand you right? Uh, I'm I'm looking that up in a second. I gotta find where's the Xanathar's fucking thing for making magic items. Uh, uh wait. We have displacer for... Is it a bag holding? You have. The main one. I didn't know that. Good luck. I, I put it in there when I was still playing that barbarian. Uh, yeah. Rare takes... Uh, it says 10 work weeks. So. No, uh, remember. Uh, remember that was gone. Like the 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 displacer beast pellet that was gone, like after the time skip. How? I uh, know I was telling Jay that the uh, because they because when the Scottish March got captured and we got our stuff back, we noticed that the displacer beast pellet in the was gone. Oh, 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 yes, 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 correct. Yeah, yeah, that was uh, common duty like news or something else. Like there was a, yeah, there was a number of things that were out of that that were gone out of that pack that uh <clears throat> that the the black circle took and used for their own purposes. It's like VG planned this. I I had to come up with something when y'all wanted to switch the entire party up. So uh so uh, rare item ten work weeks, two grand. Much longer than the initial two weeks. Yeah. I was said. Uh, oh no, four. She'll take a she'll take a hundred and fifty gold off the base price of the haversack if you get her the items. Uh, but otherwise, it's going to cost her two grand to. It's going to cost her two grand to like get the items in the first place, and then make everything. There's time involved, so twenty five hundred is her price point. So it's like a, what, a month and a half, basically, a little bit, little bit over a month and a half. Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. What does a wand of secrets do? Wand of secrets. 
Also, what, also, what's an all-purpose tool do? Uh, I think an all-purpose tool is what it says it is. It, like, you can use it as any kind of tool, if I remember correctly. Wand of Secrets. Wand of Secrets is in the compendium if you want to search it up. Uh, if a secret door or trap is within 30 feet of you, the wand pulses and points at the one nearest. You have three charges of that. Might be a good idea, since you're going for a key. Uh, the other thing was... What was the other thing? The plus... Uh, the all-purpose tool? Yeah. That's like an artificer is esque item, but I think it's for everybody. It's a Tasha's item. Uh, no, it's an artificer-only item. It says requires attunement by an artificer. Uh, completely useless. Yeah. Unless one of y'all uh, decides to have a career crisis. Yeah, uh... I will pay her that I'll give her 250 platinum for the uh, for the haversack. Okay. And uh, how much for the Wand of Secrets? Uh, let's see. Wand of Secrets, another pretty uh, pretty common ask. I charge you 500 gold for the wand. Uh, you said 50 gold? 500. Oh, 500. Yeah, so it's uncommon. Anything. Uncommon magic item. Yeah, yeah no, I, I, I was looking at my Kaga uh, doing math. Yeah. Uh, I'll set aside another uh, 50 platinum. I think that math is 500 times 10. 50 times 50 times 10 is 100. Sounds good. Look, college has been kicking my ass, bro. <laughs> All right. Uh, so yeah, the the Wanda Secrets is uh, an item in the compendium, so you can you can drag and drop that one over now. Why is there two comp compendium entries? Um, one of them is from the DMG, and the other one's from something else. Whatever EK is, <laughs> I don't know. It has they have different sources for it. But... Uh, the Essentials Kit. Yeah, probably. Okay, so I grab the DMG version. It doesn't matter, they're both the same. It just it lists it more than once in case whatever reason. Like you can see that there's two there's two wands of pyrotechnics on there too, if you search for just wand. There's one from Xanathar's and one from the Essentials kit. Uh could I get to the pre uh do you charge for appraisals? Um I charge for my time. Standard rate, uh, 10 gold per item. You have to give me the time to take a look. Because I have something I picked up. I know what it does, but, uh, well, there's only so much, uh, you would get off of a spell and not actual expertise. Is it a magical item or is it uh, mundane? It is of a magical variety. I could take a look if you'd like. And Chance will making sure to hold the uh, business end away from the merchant take out Thundermaw. Oh, sure. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she, uh, she takes a look at that. Uh, she take, like picks it up and holds it. It's it's a little big for her at first, but then it shrinks to fit uh, whoever's holding it. She looks at it and immediately is like, Oh, this is, uh, this is a custom piece. I can tell that right off the bat. Let's see. Custom engraving... Interesting enchantment. By itself, it'd go for a pretty penny, but 
with the uh, the magic imbued in this thing. Yeah, it's, it's, that'll net you a pretty penny. Uh, off the top of my head, without consulting uh, any other sources, a unique item like this probably go for around th somewhere between three and four grand. Currently. Uh, I would warn you, though, I would not ask about uh, ask anyone in the area about this one. Well, if it's a problem, uh, then I don't want it. <laughs> You'll have to hawk that to some other adventurer who's worth that much money. Took it off a uh, particularly noteworthy pirate, and her friends may not be. Uh, I don't through. want to know. My lips are sealed. You can take this back. Uh, yep, uh, I guess I wasn't planning on selling it to begin with. I just wanted to know more about it. Yeah, it's a it's a unique piece, a custom piece. So that alone will fetch it a little bit more than a normal price for an item like that. You kindly. <coughs> and I'll set another platinum on the piece for a time. You're very welcome. Uh, right about now, uh, Lemmy, you walk in with the, the husband. Uh, <laughs> both sound the same, because why not? Um, mm. The husband walks through the door. Uh, she says, Hello, wifey. I've brought you a customer. Wants to take a look at some things. Um, for the sake of time, you explain the uh, <laughs> explain the, the item you wish to do. Uh, produce the scales. Um, she says, All right, well, let's take a look. Um, she kind of raises her spectacles up to her eyes and you can see like a sheen of magic uh, kind of flash over it for a brief moment. She says, I don't know where you got this. It's not something like I've ever seen before. It's reminiscent of Dragon Scale, though. I reckon I can make something out of this. Hmm? Yeah, they are. They are pretty, aren't they? Aye, they're pretty, and they'll fetch a pretty penny, too. So if you're looking for armor, my husband can make the armor, but to, to do something interesting with these, I can always take some time and put a little bit of my own gumption into it. These are uh, akin to dragon scale, but it appears that they are slight, uh, slightly different. They're not yep. uh, not quite as, as hard. Uh, they're a qu a quite a bit more flexible, it looks like. And uh, as such, I believe I can make something rather unique. If you're willing to pay the gold. I most certainly am. I'm in the market for unique. Well, like my husband probably told you, this is going to have to be a floating price point, but... I believe I can make something very interesting out of this. I'll not ask where you got 25 of these fuckers, but uh, good thing you did. Usually when uh, an adventurer comes in with a dragon scale, it's only one or two. And it's usually in the wake of some kind of disaster out in the wastes. Yeah. Well, I... just been holding on to this for uh, I guess it'd be fair to say a long time so um, yeah if you'd, if you'd care to take them and see what you can make out of them here you go and I you know, give her the the full the full lot of 25 of them and ask her to get get back with me when she has some idea how long it might take and how much it'll end up costing sure she takes, you'll see she takes the scales one by one and s stuffs them into her wizard sleeves <laughs> and they kind of like suck in there and then kind of like disappear into a pocket dimension. I'll keep those for safekeeping. Um, not to, no clue how much that's going to cost you, but uh, uh, I suppose it depends on the enchantment. Mm. We'll see. Do you want the unique thing or do you want the standard thing? Uh, think I think I'd rather go with something fairly unique. As long as it's something that's easy to move around in, I think that's the main, 
the main concern. Good to know. Not, not your, not your standard, you know, soldier fighting man, clanky plate mail type stuff. Not like, not like over here. And I kind of give a little bit of a thumb over to Valerian. Not, not exactly that. <laughs> Very well. Light on your feet, Darby. Sounds good. Good to Try know. I'll keep that in mind. Okay, and uh, I would, while I'm there at the shop, I would probably, you know, check over the, the existing, the, the existing items on offer, and I would, uh, I guess, if it hasn't been purchased by anyone, I'd, I would certainly be interested in the wand of secrets. Did did Chance purchase that? He did. Yes. Okay. Good. Then I will, I will leave it to him. I might. I might be interested in picking up just because it's such an unusual thing. Although I may never ever have use of it, that uh, that cloak of the manta ray, I'd probably see how much that was going for. Uh, um, how, how, how much are they asking for for the limestone? How much are they asking for the uh, for the uh, dragon scale armor? Uh, well. She said she's going to make something unique, and she'll get back with me. So it's it's not going to be cheap. She's got to she's got to think on it and figure out exactly how long and how much. So yeah, she's working with we'll a see. material that that she's never seen before, and she's been asked to do something unique with it. So mm -hmm. custom order plus rush order, because I believe that's what you wanted. Oh yes, uh, it's going to cost you. It's going to cost you uh, a pretty penny, but not super expensive. Mm. You'll be able to afford it. Uh, uh, te technically speaking, the the serpent scale mail is an uncommon item, so basing it off of the base price for that, uh, I, it's likely going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of a thousand to a thousand five hundred. Yeah, but for a rush job, it's probably going to be a good bit over that. And that makes sense. So yeah, it'll be closer um, to the the base price of a rare item. Uh, mm -hmm. How much would she want if she was going to do something extra special with it? something a bit more higher grade than an uncommon uh, well if we're talking rare armor as in dragon scale mail uh, that's going to be upwards of the base price for a rare so we're looking at somewhere in the neighborhood of 25 but I was I was looking more for the serpent scale just because that just seems really cool and easy to move around in so yeah I don't know if you have medium armor proficiency, but you might need that if you're going to go with scale. Well, if I don't, if I don't have it yet, I'll pick it up at some point in the future because that just seems too, that seems too pretty to just leave as pieces from the dead past. Sure. So, I'll make it happen one way or another. Okay. Alright. And, uh, so yeah, I'd, I'd probably be interested in at least checking out the, for other items in the shop, I'd be interested in checking out the cloak of the manta ray, and I don't, yeah, I don't know if anybody. I'm, I guess I could, yeah, it's probably going to be really steep, but I will ask about the rod of security just because that sounds, that's that's very rare, so I know it won't be cheap, but it's also, it's not. I mean, it's <laughs> for what it does, it's really limited. I mean, it's it's cool. Don't get me wrong. It's just kind of a. I guess a hideaway. <laughs> so I mean, uh, kind of a it's a a place to go in an emergency, I guess. Yeah. But I'll at least ask about it. I probably won't be able to afford it, but it's I'm yeah, definitely it's a pretty nuts item. If you think about it, yeah, <laughs> you can spend. Yeah, it's just that it you can spend yeah, almost yeah. a year in there. Oh yeah, but. <laughs> like by yourself. When, yeah, when would you need to? It's just it's it know. does one th it's, it does one thing very well. Yeah, yeah, that's that's about it. So, um, but. like that can take the that can take the place of like a uh, uh, fucking a magnificent mansion in a lot of ways. Yeah, yeah, it's it's nifty. I would yeah definitely just be interested in those two things. I think though because only other thing I might might possibly be in the market for is boots of elven kind and they don't have those here so um, um the the, the rod of security is 
is it's pretty nuts. Um, yeah, it is. It's it's an action to to fucking dip out, go and away, not die. Yeah. Um. Yep. So it's it, it, it and it's it's based on sight. So like, <laughs> there's no like within thirty feet of you. It's you and two hundred other people can go into this fucking pocket dimension and then just yep. hang out for a while. Um, it's gonna be it's gonna be very expensive. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you that yep. much for free. Um, yep, yeah, it's, kind it's of a figure. very rare item. It'll take uh, you know, it's a very rare item. It's gonna it's gonna be like twenty five to thirty grand for that one. Hmm. I felt there. okay. Hmm. I felt David's wallet die. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not. Yeah, it's I mean, it's, it's very rare. It is it is really nifty, you know, and it's the thing that you hope you never need, but. Yeah! Wow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's that's the kind of thing that we'd pretty much have to pull most of the money in the party to get. So that's probably going to be a, that's probably going to be a nope. I mean, yeah. if if nothing else, it's the kind of thing that if we make it back here in a while, might oh, still oh, be in might still be in stuff. Oh, rod of security. It's 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 neat, but yeah, that's the, the rod of security. It instantly transports you and up yeah. to 199 other willing creatures you can see to a paradise yeah. that exists in an extra planar space. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus Christ! Oh, Fuck yeah. oh wow! Fucking asshole. Uh, it could be a tranquil garden, a lovely glade, cherry tavern, immense palace, a tropical island, blah blah blah. Any paradise you can imagine, regardless of its nature. The paradise contains enough food, water to sustain its visitors. Uh, everything else that can be interacted with inside the extra planar space exists only there. For example, a flower picked from the garden disappears if it's taken outside. Uh, each hour spent in the paradise, a visitor regains hit points as if it had spent a hit die. Also, creatures do not age, although time passes normally on the outside. Uh, you can remain in the paradise for up to 200 days divided by the number of creatures present. Rounded down. So... It's a it's an instant teleport. I can rest here for as long as I want to and not have to spend hit dice like palatial estate. <laughs> it's you know, yeah. it's it's a crazy item. It's uh it's like it's like a a, a better version of the uh, the mansion, magnificent mansion. And it's, it's not even a two bit. No, it's not. It's just it just exists. You don't have to attune to it at all. You can just use it. It's just a dip out because I want to stick. Yeah. Yeah. Just it's nuts. fuck the shit, I'm out. If you were using it for just your party, it's like one, two, three, four, five, six of you. So whatever 200 divided by six is, you can stay there for like months on end and just hang it's out. It's like a, a, a month, like 30, 30 something. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty sweet. 200 divided by six. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 30, 33 .3 repeating. So it'd be 33 days. <laughs> you can just stay there for 33 days and just hang out. And be completely fine and not age. Yep. Yep. Only downside is once you use it, you gotta wait a while to use it again, but... Mm. I mean, 10 that's... days, but that's, you know... Yeah, yeah, but it's still... A work week. Uh, you, just, as... <laughs> you just go out and do something for 10 days, come back and you just... Yeah. You, know, as an, you can as make an yourself emergency... very, very immortal with this and just live out your yep. best life forever yep so it's not it's a not so idea i yeah i just don't i don't think the party's got enough to get that realistically so no. not not and get anything else so it's a it would be go completely broke getting this or get a whole bunch of other things so like that's the kind yeah. of thing that that's the kind of thing that like a traveling noble or something or someone who's like has very very deep pockets would would seek out and buy and there's probably only like one of these ever <laughs> you know yep. in, a, in a world like this where uh you know magic items and stuff like that are hidden in ancient tombs and shit like the this is not something that someone would have the wherewithal to create this is something that you'd have to find and then you'd have to buy for an extortionate amount of money uh so this is probably yeah. the only one you'll ever see of this item yeah I mean, unless it, it unless it rolls randomly again for some reason the next time you go into yeah. a magic shop, but <laughs> it just keeps on rolling. I know it just keeps popping yeah. up. It's the same fucking rod the entire time. <laughs> it's 
I don't know. Maybe the people who keep maybe the people who keep buying it has a have a bad habit of getting into dice games and losing or something. Um, maybe. <laughs> yes. All right. Um, well, yeah, that's that's not something I'd be in the market for, but I'd definitely be interested in purchasing one cloak of the manta ray and maybe seeing about having a, a set of boots of elven kind crafted. I don't know how much that would. I think those are uncommon, so it's not. Yeah, don't not you only really have? You have, a, yeah. you have a cloak of elven kind. Yeah, yeah. I just figure the the boots might be a good thing to keep handy in case. So. Oh, the cloak of the manta ray. There's not a lot of usage cases for that, so. Yeah, it's just kind of. I'm gonna discount it. It's like 300 gold for that one. If there's, yeah, I mean, in the in the event you need it, you might really need it. I'm just saying, I've encountered potentially drown inable water once. It might happen again in my lifetime. So, um, considering eh. considering the boots do not require attunement, yeah, and they give you you know advantage on your stealth checks um, on sneak, they don't so. make any noise. Um, I'm going to yeah. price the boots at a thousand five hundred gold. Hmm. Okay. It's another so. like staple item. So like 300, 300 for the for the manta ray cloak, and then it'd be fifteen hundred for for boots of elven kind. Um, okay, so that's eighteen hundred right there. And I guess would there be would there be a way that I could get a second set of the boots? It wouldn't be for me; it'd be for somebody else in case they need it. Uh, so. I mean, you you could if you had the money for it. Yeah, you remember this yeah, is, yeah. This is commissioning just... these items. The boots of elven kind yeah, yeah. take two weeks to do. Yep, I'll just I'll just pay for two of those two two pairs. So, okay, just seems like a good idea. Wait, what, so. what boot is he getting? Oh, boots, boots of, of elven kind. They just they just help you they just help you be quiet and not make a whole bunch of noise moving around. I'm you're sure not, I can find. You're not trying to get me that boot, are you? Because it's not just get one. Hmm. <laughs> Why? They're not a Eh. They don't require attunement. They're, they're like free, yeah, they're just, free, they're, free nixing your stealth disadvantage. Oh my god! Fine. I was, I was saying it's, it's yeah, only a benefit. Uh, I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna commission two pairs of those, and buy the cloak of the manta ray. So that should total be about thirty three hundred. Uh, thirty three hundred. So I'm just gonna count out the uh, platinum for that right now, and I'm just gonna count out three. 330 platinum out of my out of my personal stash and just pay that and call it good for now and just you know ask her to please let me know as soon as she can on the uh on the uh scale armor when 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 she has a little bit more of a firm figure sure so okay cool and that's that's it so i guess i'll just add the Cloak of the Manta Ray for now and come back in a few weeks for the boots. So, um... Um, uh, I will also say this. Uh, they do offer a delivery service for a number of gold. Hmm. If you want it okay. to be delivered directly to you when it's done instead of having to travel back to Angel Bay. Uh, yeah, that would actually be quite the help. So, um... Yeah, how much how much would how much would it run for delivery services, I guess, on I guess total of three items that I've that I've asked to be commissioned, the boots and, and the armor. It's a flat fifty. Okay. I'm just straight up paying that right now. So so that way they can they can find me where I where I am. Surely. Sure. So Alright. Uh paying uh just paying out I guess yeah, five platinum to count as fifty gold, so all right. That's done. All right. Okay. That's. I think that's. That's me pretty well set. And I just, you know, and I just kind of, I just kind of look longingly at the rod of security and just be like, and, and look at it, and then look back at Chance and be like, please don't take this the wrong way, friend. But sometimes I wish you were still rich. Damn. I was never exceedingly wealthy, even when I did have a manor. Yeah, but this is a manner you can fit in your pocket. <laughs> Let me put it to you this way, Limestone. 
all of the money I put in, into repairing my ma- repairing the manor would still not cover this. Mm, yeah. Okay. Uh, ah, well. So, um, what's what's going to happen is um, after after the amount of time that's spent to craft these things, they're all going to be delivered at once. So that means you're looking at. 12 work weeks, basically, for everything. Well, no, it's going to be more than that, isn't it? It's going to be, f- like, 14 work weeks. It's going to be two, two for each of the boots, and I think 10 for 10 the... for the haversack. Yep. And 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 then there's the question mark for the armor, which is like, hmm. Yeah, so. that, she, we'll deal with that when we get there. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, but the armor, yeah, the armor's going to take a number of of weeks as well. A while. So you're, you're looking at like, I don't know, 15 times 5, <laughs> whatever that number is. 75. Uh, 75, 75 days. Mm-hmm. So another like two and a half months for all of this to be done in, the tra- done in the transporter. Yep, yep. Okay. We have 30 days to spend before your ship is ready so that can cut down on stuff you want to just take downtime to do that or you can try and make for the key across the desert uh, try and get that done uh, considering that you know that your arch nemesis is also after these things and likely knows their location That depends on you. Whatever you guys want to do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Easiest will be adventure work. Is a uh, cheap coin. Just saying. Yeah. I don't have a problem with spending a few weeks doing jobs. So. I would recommend we make case of the key. Okay, so we got I'm one one vote for one vote for staying here doing adventures guild jobs, one vote for go after the key right now. How do the rest of you two vote? If you'll give me a moment to think. It's an interesting conundrum to think about. You know your uh, uh, you, they were in possession of the keys. They know where they know where the next one is. Question is, do you yeah, think yeah. that you can spend a number of weeks of downtime before they get to it? If they haven't gotten to it already. If they haven't gotten to it already. I mean, we're sort of useless without the ship. I mean, we're not useless, but you know what I'm trying to say, damn it. let's put it this way uh let's do calculations here so it's if you trekked across the desert it'll take you 11 days to get to where the keys beacon is then another 11 days back still a shorter time than waiting 30 days for your ship to be done yep And we already know that he has teleportation. He might have a teleportation circle in Oracle. Mm-hmm. It does seem like a possibility. It's, it's a possibility. There are you don't know um, you don't know enough about the the colonies here to know what has been established in terms of uh, quick travel options. Mm. The, the number of people that have the <clears throat> that have the means and ability to form a permanent teleportation circle are very small in this world. It's like, you know, I, maybe, like it's it's possible that not even all the faculty at uh, at the college have the knowledge of how to do that. You know that Hadrigan's. Uh, 
associate, Urena, does. For sure. But you don't know what else has been set up by anyone yeah. else who could have been doing anything in any of these colonies. Or beyond. It's also possible that there are active teleportation circles elsewhere in the ruins of previous civilizations that still exist and uh, are waiting to be deciphered and used. The decision is yours. Is I say nice? we go for. I say we go for the key. We don't have time. All right. Well, that's good enough for me. That's at least two against one. Unless Valerian's really keen on doing any kind of guild jobs, it's probably a good idea for us to get moving and at least. Besides, take, uh, I I have a hunch a we'll run into someone rather significant on our way there. Guess we'll Ready? see. Yep, let's go. All right, let's head out then. If nothing else, if we make it back all right, that'll still give us about another week before the ship's ready. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Okay. Heading out. Alrighty. So, um, before you go, you have to gather your stuff. Uh, I'm assuming that you left some stuff on the ship so you're not carrying your entire life's worth with you. Oh, dinner kind of early. Um, going to uh, talk to Kanya, who bid you farewell uh, and good luck on your journey. Um, she's only ascending away in case you need her. Um, but she's going to go back to doing her her uh, shadow mission over in Netria to try and figure out how to uh, dethrone um, what's his face? The penguin. <laughs> Not the actual <laughs> penguin, but the, the guy that's modeled after the penguin. Richter. Richter Crow. Uh, right. She's going to try and figure out uh, the puzzle of him next. If they can cut off the Black Circle's finances, it might put a little bit more pressure on them and cause them to make mistakes. Or just taking out, you know, <laughs> taking out a member of the Black Circle is always a thing. Um, so she's going to go back and do that. So you're going to go back and do that on her ship. She's going to take Jurana with her. Your mom uh, is also here. Uh, if you want her to stick around, <laughs> then uh, she's going to need... Uh, she's going to need to either earn her way or you can pay for her to just kind of like hang out in an inn for 30 days. Yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll probably, I'll probably do that, and just kind of ask that she keep her ear to the ground a bit, see if she hears any, any news about anyone looking for anyone that looks like any of us. Basically, it's just you know, I don't want to say, I don't want to say we necessarily got warrants out, but somebody's, uh, somebody's definitely interested in finding us and I I know you know how that can go but let's just say these people have deep pockets and a long reach so I don't think they I don't think they know of you particularly uh, but no sense no sense taking unnecessary chances and I'll just yeah I'll I'll fork over enough for her to just stay at an inn for for 30 days and just say you know keep your keep your head down these are dangerous times okay are you going to also pay for the crew to keep them on retainer I don't let's see for the for the other crew members there's just the other two of them right uh, I think there's three uh, three three oh no, no one of them one more. of them died yes so. one died so two yeah Yep. So the the two the two gentlemen were you able to save from the uh, from the temple? Yeah, I'll just put them up as well. And you know, I guess in the in the interim, you know, I'd probably task you know probably probably task uh, the captain with kind of 
keeping an eye out for any any rumors of wanted individuals resembling the party and uh then i would probably ask the two the two crewmen you know because they're fairly fairly low profile you know deck swab crewmen to look out for a, to maybe check around and see if there might be anybody uh with with talents in operating a ship because we still need i think two more to run the ship once it's finished so if they're up for just checking into some some prospects for potential hires just kind of i could maybe provide them with you know a few gold to kind of go out there and you know see over the over the course of the month if there's anyone who might be might be up for uh adventure in the skies okay. so so, uh, three people for 30 days is 90 gold. Mm. Okay. And then how much do you think I'd need to provide maybe like another 10 for just sort of resources for going out and about looking around for, you know? Yeah, that's probably, I'd say that's fair. Um, okay. There's not, uh, it, uh, I mean, there's not really a downtime activity for sleuthing, but, um, yeah, one, if, you're, well, if you're keeping an ear to the ground, we'll call it carousing. And they'll, yep. they'll carouse and with just the common folk because that's the only people they yeah. really have access to. Yeah, uh, just so we'll kind say of ten gold for... for thirty days. That's probably. I mean, it's it's a good amount of money for for a commoner to have. So that'll probably yep. tie them over for that amount of time. Yeah, and it'll be it'll be split three ways basically. So you know, some will go to the one crewman, some will go to another one, and some will go to the captain. So that way they have some resources for you know looking around for you know he hearing you know listening for rumors. And then also, yeah, checking for uh, sky, sky, experienced sky sailors. So, sure. yep. All right, sounds good. You only All need right. there's what the four there's the four of you, and then the three of them. So you need what two more people? Uh, yep, that's do, it. Do we need them. those two more people? Because I'm pretty sure it's just weaponry, right? Most of them is just for weaponry. If you want, if you want like a fully functional damselfly at all times, you need two more people. But if you just want to run it off of, uh, you know, keep keep in mind that the 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 four of you, if you get into a conflict, will likely be doing your own thing and not on, not being on the weaponry, which leaves three of them to operate the weapons. Yep. So and you have sure. like full functionality of the ballista, and that's it. Yep, we might want enough enough crew to also man the uh, forward, uh, or the the aft rather, uh, mangonel. So yeah. if you count is yourselves that, as crew, then that kind of takes away from if you go into combat, if you want to do your own thing, yep. then there's that takes away from the functionality of the other things on the ship. So yep, yep. just keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. Plus, one of is going to have to fly the damn thing. Mm -hmm. Um, I can I can fly. I um, have navigation can. air vehicles, or I have I have yeah. You can, but it's it would be worth it to have someone who also knows how to fly in case you want to go do yep. your thing while while combat yeah. happens. If that is the case, yeah, that's covering all bases. And yeah, that's why it's always good to bring along a parent or guardian. <laughs> I need an adult. Cover the hell. Mm. All right. Um, yeah. Sure. Okay. So. Um, with the uh, with the days chores and preparations done uh, goodbyes said and packs full of whatever you need to do <laughs> do you want to, by the way, while you're here are you going to sell those fucking art items? sure I mean you might, you might as well get them out of your pack, right? the art items yeah. I grabbed uh, I'm keeping yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean the other yeah, stuff. But the, but yeah, the other the other stuff the other stuff plus the gold, that all went into David's pack because he actually had room. So Yeah. The, I'll the, sell those. The furry oh, armor, the the, the, the 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 picture of the paladin in hell, the elven plate or you know, the elven writing plate, the platinum necklace with oracalcum. Yeah. I forget oh, what no, else. I was getting the plate and the paladin paint. Oh, oh you're okay. you're taking you're taking the plate and the uh, paladin pick? Okay, more power to you. You're keeping the so. scepter? Uh, okay, uh, let me ask you something. Uh, let me ask you something, David. How much do you want for the, the rest of the art pieces? I will just buy them off of you. Oh, wow. 
Uh, uh let me 750. So I don't care. You you you, you can have them. Oh. Okay, so you're just keeping all of those art pieces then. Not selling them at all. Yeah, I want to add them mm. to my uh, relic collection. So I you know. That's perfectly fine. Okay, cool. Sounds good to me. I, I guess I guess it does belong in a museum. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. Sounds good. Is there anything else you want to do before you leave Angel Bay and move on into the desert? Hmm. I guess are we are we are we provisioned that okay for the trip? If we're if we're not, I yeah, know. Do you have rations? I've got, you, I've got you need, some. Uh, you need food and water for twenty two days. I'm for how many? Oh. For how many? Yeah, how many people? So I've got. I think I've still got, because I got a whole bunch earlier, but I've used up about half. I think I've still got about forty something left. So, that's at least mm, that's some, but that's probably not enough for everyone. So let's look over here. Four four people times twenty two. Yep, eighty eight total, and I've only got forty nine. So yep. yeah, uh, I'm gonna buy like a hundred and seven in my bag. Just a hundred days of rations. <laughs> sure. Yep. It's the massive sack of hardtack and jerky. Yep. Mm. Okay works for me and i guess the other the other thing before we head out is that pro i i probably would still at some point during the preparations to head out take the potions of poison and just kind of turn to valerian and go like huh these are deadly <laughs> why are they wiggling <laughs> maybe they like you but if you would like to give them a good home there you Why go. are they wiggling? I don't know. Maybe because they came from a snaky place. They're, they're, that's how you know they're extra good. No. No. All right. I will hold on to the potions. I'm just glad I'm rid of that staff. So. And thank you. And thank you, Chance. It just, yeah. Keep an eye on that thing if you can. It always seems like it's moving a little. So. Uh, Okie doke. What was the name of that staff again? Just so I can make sure it's on my sheet. Staff of the... Writhing Darkness. Writhing darkness. <laughs> yeah, Staff of Writhing Darkness. Uh, five silver for a day. So if you're buying a hundred, that's... 500 silver. So 50 gold. Jerky, dried fruit, hardtack, and nuts. Mm, breakfast of champions right there. Stay yeah. up. Um, in terms of the staff of writhing darkness, uh, I will give you the, I didn't I don't think I gave you the text for it, so I'll give you the text for it. Oh no, no, it's it's up somewhere. I gave it to uh, you. But I didn't put it oh in the no, chat. yeah, you didn't you didn't general no, no, no. Yeah, that's right. I have to copy paste because it, it doesn't let me right. show the details yeah. because it links to it's, uh, purchase content. Yep. Uh, so I'll just I'll throw this in general just because. But but hey, chance don't don't go using up all the charges on that. It could dissolve on you, and that would be a shame. That is so them that is so thematic that it gets the expended charges back at midnight. I'm gonna. Yeah, I know, right? I'm gonna pin it. <laughs> there we go. So we have we have it always, <laughs> always available. <laughs> General chat. Yeah. Yeah. Staff of fighting. I can't wait for <laughs> can't wait for Matt to come in here every thirty days and take a look and see what the fuck we've been posting, and then just see a hentai <laughs> staff pinned in general. Oh. <laughs> yes. Uh, fun fun times. I love this game. Yes. Yeah. Regains its expended charges daily at midnight. When if you're right next to it, it softly whispers, "Dress like Sailor Moon for me." <laughs> just if you, if you listen closely, you can just hear it go, "Oni-chan." 
<laughs> oh my god, please. Never say that again. <laughs> oh my god. Yamete <laughs> kudasai. Just in a deep voice. I, I, I will just leave. <laughs> Sorry, stopping. <laughs> stopping. Oh my god. Oh, no, no, no. Funny as hell. Alright. It doesn't do that. News. Want to throw that out there? Okay. No. All right. Cool. You got all your stuff. Man. Going out into the wastelands. Um. So, first day of travel. Go ahead and somebody roll me a. I don't know. Roll me a d eight. On it. Boop. There it is. Whatever it was. I got an eight. An eight, fantastic. Well, that Yay. really that really helps you out. Um, the The day is relatively uneventful. Uh, there's not a whole lot that goes on. Uh, it's just very hot, and and you do have to travel uh, across a hot desert. Um, so, first day of travel, relatively uneventful. Uh, nothing too crazy. Um, a couple of things. Uh, the the further out of Angel's Bay you get, Angel's Bay, Angel Bay is like on the border between the boiling marshman, marsh, the boiling marshmallow man and the ashen expanse, uh, the boiling marshlands and the ashen expanse, um, and there's there's kind of like a mountain range that separates the two, um, on the southern end. So, you can see kind of like there's the, there's almost like a stark difference between the. Uh, the skyline to the south and then to the north. There's mountains to your back and kind of moving forward, um, you're just kind of trudging through gray sand and over cracked ground, and, uh, you know, trudging away from the city. Uh, you'll have to find places to stop and, and t you know, drink water every now and then. Uh, it's going to be a very hard trek. Um, so keeping that in mind. Uh, next day of travel. Somebody else roll me. D8. Microscope! A five. Okay. With a five. Um, with a five, you come across uh, on your on your second day of travel. Um, another roving herd of those... Um, uh, kind of like uh, lava turtle creatures, the the exploding turtle creatures that uh, you had seen previously before. Um, these are a common sight in in the Ashen Expanse, but perhaps not for Lemmy. Um, for you, Lemmy, uh, I don't, did I have that somewhere in art? Somewhere I don't remember. There was a uh, one of the characters. I don't remember where I posted it, but there's a there's a creature. I'm gonna see if I can find it. Um, I have the stat block for it. Let me see if I can find it here. Hold on a second. I forget what it is. If it's a, a beast or oh, there it is. Yeah, it's a it's a monstrosity. Wait, so. Let me find it. Concept art, real quick. Hold on. I should have it around here somewhere. There it is. Looks like that. Hmm. Uh, it's kind of like this weird, like, rhinoceros, agliosaurus, uh, shell kind of weird dinosaur creature. Um, uh, but, and it's shell, uh, visible from, like from farther away. There is, there's like... Yeah. Uh, a column of smoke, and then there's green fire in that shell that kind of burns uh, perpetually and, and flashes out every now and then. So it's like a, it's like a volcano turtle, sort of. Kind of, yeah. Um, okay. A creature that yeah. you're you're not particularly familiar with, but that has um, the the rest of the party, I believe, already knows this. That uh, they have, uh, if you're willing, if you're brave enough to try and you know, take one down or domesticate it, if you're an idiot. Um, you can go and uh, use the 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 fire that it creates and the, the different, like, alchemical ingredients in there 
to make right. certain potions and things. So it's very useful for alchemists, okay. but they're a dangerous animal to get close to, and they travel in herds. Okay. Do they... I'm assuming they, they don't seem intelligent in any way, right? Uh... I mean, do you want to get closer and find out? No, not really. I... At, at most, I might yell something at a distance, but you know what? Even that seems like a bad idea. They don't look particularly fast-moving, but I kind of don't want to attract their attention for some yeah. reason. I mean, the, the thing that catches your attention to begin with is just, like, several columns of smoke rising out of the desert. Yeah. And then you looking over and seeing this, like, cloud of dust where these animals are kind of moving yeah. slowly across the desert, doing their thing. Do I... Oh, do I see if they're eating anything in particular? Or I don't know what there is to eat in the desert exactly, but do they do they seem herbivorous, or are they going after smaller animals, or what's their... Make a perception what's their, check. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'll just... See if I have some idea, just... It's kind of an intriguing creature, so... Yeah, I would definitely be interested in kind of angling my head over that way to see if I can see what they might be munching on, so... All right, uh go okay you're whispering to me by the way oh um, sorry the so you don't see anything uh vegetation wise that. that they're going after at the moment mm -hmm. um they are on the they're on the move so they're they're okay. they're like a traveling herd mm -hmm. at the moment oh well all right and perhaps well. if you roll a five again we'll find out um yeah okay yeah that's all well and good, but I'm I'm good with staying well away from those from those things, given that they don't seem particularly antagonistic, and I don't necessarily want to push them in that direction. So, got stuff to do. Sure. Third day of travel. Somebody roll me another D8, please. Either J, well, I can either roll for J or Chance, you can roll. Chance, Chance, Chance. A three. Hey. Okay. Fantastic. Uh, so on the third day on a three, um, uh, you uh, run afoul of a dust storm. Uh, Yee. Very hard to see, very difficult to travel through. Um uh, what I will ask from you is to make a survival check. Somebody, somebody in the group, make a survival check uh, right. to try and knock it to try and knock it uh, turned around in the dust storm. Yeah, my yeah, my survival is absolutely crap. So if anybody else wants to give it a try, have at it. But it'll be a I'm looking... it'll be a DC fifteen, and if you fail it by five or more, you lose a day of travel. I'll yeah. give you guidance. That's the best I could do. This is over the course of like an eight-hour trek, so guidance would not be applicable here. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, yeah neither. What, what, what's the check? It's a survival check. <clears throat> oh, I should not do that. Okay. Well, that's all well and good, but yeah, I, yeah, borrowed knowledge and guidance are no use here, so if anybody's got better than a one in survival, go for it. Otherwise, I will... I have Roll a negative my... one. I'm. Oh wow, that's that is that is worse. David, so is anything? Valerian? No, no, survival's wisdom. So yeah, uh... Valerian's a clear. Uh, Valerian, yeah. uh, just uh, I'm pulling up a sheet right now. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. I think he was the one More we tended, tended to rely on for that in the past. Valerian's got a five, so I guess you're leaning yeah. on him. Yep, hard. <laughs> Oh, well. That's a 10. You lose a day of travel. <laughs> oh, well. Still gave it our best shot. So you, so. you try and trek through this dust storm uh, for as long as you can, but it, it becomes very clear that you don't know where you're going. Uh, you don't know if you've gotten turned around. You have no idea uh, of anything else out in the dust storm. So after a certain point, you're going to have to, like, camp out in tents for, like, the day. And then yep. just, just try and entertain yourselves for eight hours, for, well, 24 hours, basically. Um, and you lose a day of travel that way. Yep. Once the storm passes and you are able to go uh, out into 
your fourth day of travel. Uh, I will roll for this one because Valerian does not have a thing. Hey, another five. Um, Is it more turtles? Uh, I will. Here's what I will do. I'll give it a 50 50 chance of you figuring out what they eat. Okay, fantastic. Um, wow. So this time you come across uh, another, uh, either another herd or the same herd. You're not entirely sure um, mm-hmm. of the of the blaze horns, but you see these ones uh, eating. Uh, uh, they're they're standing amidst a a large patch of blue colored cactus, hmm. uh, which the rest of the rest of you are aware is chill cactus, something that is only found in the ashen expanse. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's... I I guess I learned something, so... I know that they're probably herbivorous, which is... It's still a good reason to steer clear of them, because herbivores can get pretty... pretty skittish, so... Um, I will also say that um, th- while, while they're eating this this uh, cactus plant, their, their fire is uh, uh, more dormant than before. You don't see <laughs> the green flames from the distance like you did when they were walking. Uh, just a column of smoke comes from their back. Interesting. All right. Um, well, I don't know that I would have much use for that that wacky cactus, but Unless anybody, unless anybody else is feeling brave enough to get a sample of it, I think we should stay well clear of them and their dinner. So, I believe you have let's... already figured out what chill cactus does, mm. if I remember correctly. So, chill cactus is, as a, as an alchemical ingredient or as a, a, a herbological substance, um, can be kind of mashed into a, a paste or an ointment that um, kind of deflects the uh, the the heat from traveling throughout the Ashen Expanse in general. Um, hmm. So in in that way, if you were to like use it for a day's use, um, it kind of works like it, it kind of works like gives you advantage on Constitution checks to not be exhausted uh, whenever you would roll like an exhaustion roll, which actually I'm going to have you do uh, every. Every couple of days in the desert, I should have been mm. having you roll for that. So roll, everyone roll me two right. constitution saving throws, please. Oh, boy. Does fire resistance come for any bonuses to this? Uh, advantage. Mm. Okay. 11 and 16. Sure. Okay. Let's see. You're going to have to roll for me. Yes, I am. I'm working on and I got, I got a 10 and a 4. Yay. Keep having to reopen your character. I'm just gonna keep your character sheet open. Fairness. Mm. Uh, con saves twice. Mm. Uh, five and a seventeen. Okay. Not too bad. Um, so it looks like. So it looks like uh, everyone's fine. Uh, yeah. Okay. So uh, the, the reason I'm having you do this is in case uh, multiple instances of exhaustion stack in a row. Uh, mm. So uh, considering that you have days in between where that's not the case, uh, we won't worry about it for mm. for now. Okay. I'll only need to make a yeah. second one, my bad. Yeah. All right. And I guess I guess now that we've made the rolls, are we still are we still inside of some of this cactus? That seems like it'd be handy to have. I mean, the herd is currently there. You could try yeah. and go gather some, but you don't know whether or not they'll spook. Um, you know what? I will. I will attempt to. I will attempt to put the hood up on my cloak and sneakily steal some cactus. So, I'm going to attempt to stealth the heck out of it. And uh, you know what? While I'm while I'm doing that, I will. I, I will shamelessly. Use my my free racial ability cast of uh, pass without trace. I want to be as as quiet as absolutely nothing that is not even there in the desert. So. Sure. 
Uh, yeah, so you're gonna... ad advantage and plus 10. Because yep. you have your so, cloak yep, on, yep. right? Toggle on. Oh, you better believe it. Hood up and sneak, sneak, sneak. So, all right. Stealth advantage. And okay. Here goes. Uh, sure. 29. Yeah. So sneak, you, sneak, you, sneak. You, sneak you're walking cactus. past this. You're walking past this herd. And uh, you hear Lemmy go, I wonder if that cactus is any worth anything. Everyone, And you guys kind of explain the properties of the cactus to him, just, you know, off the cuff. Um, and then five minutes later, he comes back and says, I got some. And you didn't even notice he was gone. He just kind of snuck off and did that and then caught up with you without you noticing. Um, yep. So go ahead and give okay. yourself a, I mean, if you want to roll me, I guess roll me another, roll me a, hmm. uh, it should be a survival check. Okay. Yeah, it's probably going to be awful, so that's fine. Um, better than nothing. All right. Standard survival, go. Ten. Ten! Okay. You, you can get a, a day's worth of, of cactus for yourself. Um, you would need mm -hmm. uh, some form of way of grinding it into paste and applying it, but that would be a, oh. uh, well, like a medicine check. Yeah, yeah, which I'm so not good and, at either. Uh, so you also need an herbalism <laughs> kit to make that work too. But <laughs> don't have that. So you could you could take it. It'll it'll last for a little while. Um, mm. So ah well, I'll just add piece of piece of chill cactus. So chill, right. one chill cactus pad. Yep. Okay, day five. Actually, technically, day six. Day six, who wants it? Uh, I guess it's top of the order again, so I will roll the uh, D8. Okay. So, all right. Three! Three. Ah, dust storm. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, well. Another dust storm, another survival check, which I will roll for a sur for later. 22. Hey, not bad. Uh... Seeing as you've been through one of these already, uh, you're able to, at the very least, skirt around the outside of this. You're only caught by a little bit. Um, you do not lose a day of travel. Uh, it's just it's just kind of difficult to move through for the day. Um, uh, this one, go ahead and make me uh, con saving throws, everybody. Mm -hmm. Flaring's good. 21. Mm -hmm. 14 is fine. 15 is fine. 27 is fine. Yeah, no no exhaustion there. Uh, so you, you kind of like prepared yourself uh, for in, in case this happened again. Uh, you know, scarves up, uh, shielding your eyes, all that fun stuff. Uh, moving in a way that you can kind of predict what the dust storm is going to do a little bit from your previous experiences. No exhaustion gained. No days lost. Uh, overall, a successful <laughs> evasion of the dust storm. Now, as we kind of wind down for the day on your fifth day. Uh, who would be up uh, at like midnight taking watch? I, I would. <clears throat> okay. Just chance. Yeah, it, does, it does seem like yeah, chance tends to take midnight watch a lot now that I think about it. it just does. So around the middle of the night, um, when the others are, are resting and you and Fuego are kind of tending to the fire, um, go ahead and make me a perception check, please. Can I make two? One for Fuego as well? Yes. Yeah, that's fine. Either you can have advantage or you can make two. <laughs> sure, that'll work too. Sixteen. Okay. Who has the 16? Is that Fuego? That's that Fuego. Okay. Um, you guys are kind of tending to the fire. Fuego is um, doing that dog thing where he's like he's like laying down with his, his head over his paws that are crossed in front of him. And um, as you're kind of like absentmindedly staring into the flames, Fuego's head perks up and stares off into the distance. Looks at you and says... I think I heard something move, Master. Would you like me to go investigate? Uh, hold on. 
above game VG. This is something Chance would probably recall, but it's been so long out of game that Bones can't remember where shit. Mm -hmm. What is the name of that of the younger brother? Uh, the, yeah. the shadow one. Rian Kodish. Uh, Chance, like that you, Rian? Expected to run into you again out here. Just out loud. Um, there's a there's a, a slight pause, and then a figure approaches your camp. Um, but not the figure you were expecting. Uh, this is a, uh, a female tabaxi um, with kind of like this uh, golden, golden kind of sandy-ish brown fur um, put up, uh, covered in, you know, tra traveling desert clothes, uh, lightly armored uh, with two uh, short swords at her side, um, sheathed currently, um, hands in the air, kind of holding them up. She approaches your fire, says, uh, Not who you were expecting, it seems. My apologies. Uh, no, no apologize for. Just expected to run to that guy again. Seem that seem seemed to be his uh, his usual method of operating. I know it must seem strange to run into uh, someone you do not know in the desert in the middle of the night. Um, Wouldn't be the first time. It's a. Uh, Typically, not something that I would do at any at the other occasion, but uh, I'm afraid I, I must make as much time as I can getting to my next destination. I was wondering, actually, if I could share your fire for a little bit and rest my weary paws. Fire is open to you. Have a seat. Thank you. She kind of uh, takes a seat on the opposite end of the fire from you. I says, uh, it is nice to meet you. My name is Shaxi. Chance. She kind of uh, grabs one of the pieces of driftwood that you guys had gathered at some point to stoke the fire. Puts it in there, makes it a little bit warmer for herself. It says, uh, So, if you don't mind me asking, what brings you foreigners across the ashen expanse? Normally, your kind stick to the trade routes along the coast. It's not often I see foreign peoples traveling through the desert this far inland. What brings most adventurers out into the into the middle of nowhere? Usually promises of treasure or glory. I have the right of it. Forgive me saying, but you don't seem like the typical adventuring type I would see out here in the expanse. Well, you've learned to make use of what you have. I suppose so. Perhaps maybe you can help me if you are an adventurer, like you say. I'm looking for a group. Uh, I know not what they look like, but perhaps you've heard of them. What might they be? There, an enigma. I have been searching for uh, about a month for them. It was said that they were last seen traveling these sands before falling off the map, but I have been searching for them. Uh, it seems they have had an encounter with who you suspect they encountered with. A, a group called Scholars March walked these sands about a year ago. Save this one. What happened? 
And why do you seek this group? I seek to enlist their help. I have a, a problem at home that requires their particular expertise. <laughs> uh, they are, uh, as far as I have come to understand it, purveyors of ancient uh, artifacts and knowledge that has been lost to time centuries past. Let me ask you something, friend. How lucky do you think you are? Lucky? <laughs> I don't think I am very lucky these days. Well, given how you happen to stumble entirely by accident onto the very people you seek... Truly, you are Scholar's March, then. Well, what's uh, left of us? I was hoping. Uh, you must be... You must be fair weather, then. Although your companion is different than I expected to see. Uh, ran afoul of some unfortunate types. Uh, well, I'm currently the only one still adventuring. Hmm. It seems the only my... other, the only other, the only other survivors back home with his family. It seems my information is outdated, as I expected it would be. Well, this is, uh, this is great news. I. I I apologize for uh, the, the shadiness of this, but I have been searching for quite some time for you, uh, for your help. I cannot turn to my own people. I certainly would not find much help there. Well, we have a long night. Might as well tell me, tell me your story. Very well. I will start from the beginning. And that's where we're going to stop for today. We'll pick up with uh, the rest of this conversation next week. Kind of a shorter session, kind of a shopping shopping day, but now is a good time as any. It is 4 o'clock to stop for the day, and we will continue with the uh, the next part of your adventure next week, or the next time you play. With that little laugh I did, that was in character. That wasn't like a bug game laugh. Yeah, no, I know. I, I figured it was. Hopefully, I won't be suffering from a fucking technical difficulty then. Hopefully. I would like you to be able to have access to your own character sheet for things like insight checks and stuff for this conversation. Yeah, I would have very much liked to actually go on shopping, but uh, yeah. Yeah, well, I don't know. Things happen. It's fine. We'll pick up again next time we play. Uh, Till then, mm. I'm going to sign off, and you can have your conversation with Shaxi the Tabaxi next week. Bye-bye. Mm.